Hi guys, it's Nate. Okay, so this vlog is about my cousin. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have this experience too with your younger girl cousins, but my cousin is like obsessed with me. Like she, okay, so um, okay, so I used to live in Puerto Rico, right? And I moved here when I was in seventh grade, so that was four years ago. Yeah, I'm a sophomore. Wait, seventh, eighth, ninth, eighth, yeah, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. Okay. So, yeah. So, then when I came back to the States, or when I came to the States, um, she was like, oh, my gosh, what's your number? Because she was living over here. And I was like, oh, hi, how have you been? And she's like, good, what's your number? And I'm like, oh, I've been good. What school do you go to? Oh, this school. What's your number? And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And so, I gave her my number. And then, um... And then she's just been texting me, like, she's been, like, been blowing up my phone, like, nonstop, like, 24-7. Like, I'll wake up in the morning, and, like, to go to school, like, at 7, and then, like, I'll have, like, 20, 10, like, I'm not even lying. I'll have, like, 15, 20 messages saying, like, are you awake? Why are you mad at me? You're not texting me back. And it's like, sorry, I have a more, I have, like, a life. I don't, I just don't text you. And then she's like, oh, you know what? You don't want to text me? Fine, bye. And, like, she has, like, she has, like, these, like, bipolar moments where she's like, oh, my gosh, you're not texting me back. Bye. And then, like, 10 minutes later, oh, I was just kidding. I'm not mad at you. And then she's like, I want to do the deed with you if you know what the deed is. And it's like, oh, my God, we're cousins. Leave me alone. And she's 13, and I'm a sophomore, so you figure that out. But she's 13, and, um... And yeah, she's like, oh, I want to do the deed with you. Or it's like, oh, you want to be my boyfriend? And it's like, no, you're my cousin, first of all. And you're not, like, my cup of tea, second of all. And that's just nasty, third of all. And, like, all of all, that's just plain nasty. And it's like, just, just get a hint. Just, like, you know, just leave a brother alone. Just leave a brother alone, okay? Like, just leave me alone. Like, I mean... She like she doesn't get the hints. Like she'll text me and I won't answer me. And I feel so bad because like I don't like ignoring people. Like I'm a generally nice like I'm a genuinely generally I'm okay, I'm a nice person in general. And I just don't like ignoring people. So it like it's I feel bad ignoring her, but it's like that's the only way she but she doesn't even get it that way though. Like she doesn't even get it that way. Like she'll be like, Oh, you haven't been texting me, are you okay? And it's like, Yeah, I'm okay and then like just don't text me, like I'm busy. Then she'll be like, Oh, are you done being busy? And it's like, No, I'm doing homework. Are you done doing your homework? And it's like it's twelve o'clock at night. I probably finished my homework a good like hour ago or so. And then like, you know, it's just like I know it sounds like I'm being rude, but it's like, oh my gosh, I mean, well, how would you react if you had a family member a family member of yours that was obsessed with you, wanted to date you, and was constantly saying, oh my gosh, we should do the deed together, or like, we should make out, or like, oh, like, do you want to like, hang out, or like, I mean, hanging out's fine, but I mean, it's kind of awkward if she just said, hey, let's do the deed, okay, you don't want to do it, that's okay, let's hang out. That's kind of like, on the awkwards track. So yeah, so that was my vlog, and I'm actually kind of pretty scared of her, and like, seeing her in person now, like, it freaks me out. Like, I'm like, Mom, can you stand by me? She's like, why? And it's like, cuz, just stand by me. And it is so embarrassing, cuz, I mean, you know, I'm getting older, and I don't really want to rely on my mom, but my mom is my bodyguard now, so every time I go to her house, I'm, my mom doesn't know about this, but she knows the drill. Every time we go to their house, she, like, stands right next to me, because she she's not going to do anything fresh if my mom's there. At least she hasn't done anything. I hope she doesn't do anything fresh, because that would be even more embarrassing that my mom finds out that she likes me, and then she'll be like, oh, do you like... Ugh, you know how moms are. So, yeah, so this is, this has been my vlog. And if you have anything like that where your cousin's obsessed with you or, like, anybody in your family, just leave a video response below, because I'm dying to hear it, because, I mean, I think this is a unique experience that, I mean, I know you could have crushes, but, I mean, actually telling it, to them, like, she, like, like, okay, like, she would have, like, a secret one, yeah, but she's actually telling me that she likes me, and they're like, oh my gosh, let's do this, and it's like, oh my gosh, no, so yeah, okay, so this has been My Cousin's Obsessed With Me, and I hope you liked it, because I know I don't, but I'm sure you're laughing at it, but I'm not, it's not funny, peace.